Hello everybody, uh, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to take uh, a drawing and make it so that you can color behind it. I'm making this for a friend. We, uh, oh man, we can't often, uh, we can't often, um, we ask schedules don't really match up a lot of the time, so I'm going to record this and send it to her. Now I'm trying to think what I want to put in here. Okay, so, I want to open. That's what I want to do. And we are going to import this. Now, what you want to do is I've got this canvas back here that's set up for colouring. I should probably have this. I have it in CMYK for printing, but RGB works better for this. What you want to do is have your pointy tool selected, which is hotkey V, and click and drag it on to your other canvas. You don't need this anymore. Okay, so now we've got it in here. And what you want to do is, uh, in order for this to work, so you can color behind it, uh, make the white work as a transparency, you need to uh, make the, the white actually look white instead of this nice purple. So what you need to do is uh, you can use the hotkey Apple L or Control L, or you can also go up here to uh, Levels. But I'm going to use the hotkey because it really helps everything. You can mess around with these sliders, but I am going to use this to get this nice white. And then mess with this to get a better dark and this middle one is your contrast so so that looks okay just kind of gotta get a mess around with it so that looks okay so okay so um this is what it looks like and what we're going to do the magic trick is uh to go to your kind of layer i don't know what you call this but like how, how your layer is treated and go to multiply and what that does is black has uh opaqueness and the white has transparency. So you go down here and I've made another layer underneath and you can now paint on this layer and it will come straight through. So we can make maybe not a pink one. Let's make a blue one. Oh man. Yeah. So look at that. Now you can paint underneath it. Oh jeez, that's slow. I guess my computer is not enjoying recording at the same time. But now you can paint underneath. Let's let's do this super fast so I can show you something else, how to kind of clean up. So um, it took me a long time to figure this out. Uh, it's not really something that's intuitive. So for a long time there I was erasing <laughs> the uh, image itself and getting these terrible halos of wet pixels around the outside. Sorry, I'll be done in a sec. Let me just close this in a bit. Da 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 da, super fast coloring. Okay. So we're going to pretend this is done beautifully and not slap dashly. Just pretend that. Let's pretend that that looks amazingly not hurriedly done. Okay, so you don't you don't want all this rubbish around the outside, so what are you going to do? You can erase it, you can go back to your, uh, I should really name these line art and color. Um, you can just erase, but maybe you for some reason would want this later. So you can go down here, this is your mask tool, and what this does is I think white uh, makes it show. No, okay, I was wrong. Oh wait, no, I was right. White, if, if your mask is all white, it means everything is showing through, but when you put black on it, it hides it. So as you can see, it's hiding the bits we don't want. Another way to do this is... I think this is going to work? No. Let me try this. See how this goes. No, that's not working either. Um, let's try this one. I'm, I've just selected the, uh, no, okay, what we're going to do is select pixels, it selects the pixels that we've um, colored in this layer, and then I've gone to the mask, selected the mask layer, and it's going to get rid of, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I should take this slower, okay, so in order to get rid of any everything that's outside the stegosaur, I'll start again. What you want to do is go hunt down here and right click on this image itself, not over here, here, 
right click it, go select pixels. It selects these pixels. Now you need to select this layer, your line art layer, and click the mask. At the same time, you need to inverse your selection. So it selects everything else. I'm trying to like show you with my hand that it isn't working. You want to select everything outside, not inside. So uh, now we've selected everything outside and we've got the mask selected. Do you want not that? Okay. You want to paint bucket it so it disappears. You want to make sure you have black selected. So you have now gotten rid of everything on the outside. See? The white is what is showing through and black is what is hidden. So now you have none of the the gross stuff showing. And another cool trick, if let's just pretend this was better outlined, not so messy. Um, what you can do is you can lock the pixels so that you can paint, oh man, so you can paint inside it. So how do you do that? You go here, it's a transparency lock, it only lets you paint in the area you've already painted on this layer. So if we wanted to go and do like a belly color, that's a huge brush. You can now go and do a belly color like relatively quickly because it is now this is really terrible, but uh, we'll pretend I am taking a lot more time with this. Oh, this is a really cool color picker, by the way. Usually it's set to H, whatever that means. But I like to use the B um, because it has these gorgeous uh, colors that you can use. Of course, you can use your transparencies. Get some really gorgeous colors really quickly. So yeah, I think that's about it. Um, the rest of it is just me mucking around at this point. But hopefully that is helpful. I know it took me a good few years to figure out that that was a thing. I'm really glad I did. It's just not something very intuitive, I guess. So, yeah. Hope that helps. Oh heck, I gotta, I gotta finish coloring. I feel bad just leaving this, this cruddy, half-painted thing. Let's get it from some better. Specs. Ha ha ha. There we go. Looks much better. <laughs> okay, well, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, let me know if it helped you at all. And I hope you guys have a good day.